Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers, my name is Didi. Today's question is, am I still bullish? Um, the answer is going to be in the next couple of charts. A few minutes video, so let's quickly jump into all the data. Back. Here. let's start with this one this is the uh, trading view of course yes it's the weekly chart and that is the one i don't want to start with i want to start with this one this one is the day chart i'm not going to freak out now on the minute chart i will let my indicators and my um, bots do that but on the day chart we see that i said we could go up to the red line then we could come down to the green line and then we should be taking off not happening at the moment so that was a wrong uh, analyze then i also said in yesterday's video if we don't do that we will break that green line and if we will break that green line i said the chances there we will go to that white uh, yellow line which is 41,500. now this area that we are now at 43,300 is an area that i wouldn't expect it to be it's going to close in 15 hours this candle i thought that this support of 44,500 would be the support level because if you look to the left there was resistance that should have acted as support now let's see this candle is going to close in 15 hours if we close above that 44,500 um, dollar line um, in the daily chart Something that worries me at the moment is the Gaussian channel. We have been talking about the Gaussian channel many times, already for months, even if it is not years. The thing that is worrying me is that the Gaussian channel just turned red. That doesn't happen often, guys. The Gaussian channel doesn't turn red often. And when it does, that's not a good sign. Let's be very honest, we are talking about just history data and the markets are changing but if we look back into history every time that we see the Gaussian channel turning red let's go all the way back over here this is like 2014 when we turned red from green to red we saw another massive dump down below the Gaussian channel all the way till like 2016 when we came um, above the Gaussian channel again you see and that is every time let's go back over here here this is 2018 when we went into the gaussian channel you know and then broke that midline we went to the bottom and then when it green turned to red we came even lower even here but this was like an accident i think this is a, that, that covid crash let's call it like that there it even turned shortly red but in that we turned red it went up so this was like the only one that didn't go more negative so now back to the day we are turning red and mostly when we turn red and it's also what you can see if you look back when we turn red that is the moment we try to break that midline and then we don't break that midline over here like there we don't break it we fall back down bam you see and that is mostly the, uh, what is happening guys just over here as well that midline was very important when we broke it we fell down now we are seeing the same at the moment we are turning from green to red that is not positive positive these candles are five day candles this candle is going to close in three days and 16 hours so we are retesting again that midline doesn't mean we go like try to do it like bam something like this to 30k again that would be the level the bottom of that Gaussian channel is 38,600. So the positive part is, yes, in my opinion, we will stay above 38,000 at first, but if we break it, we could drop to the 31K level. And that would be below the Gaussian channel. Should we be freaking out? In my opinion, not, because after red, green comes. And if we look back into history, the best moments to have been buying bitcoin was when the gaussian channel turned from red to green again so from red to green that would be a beautiful moment you could have bought bitcoin at 400 from red to green 
you could have been buying Bitcoin at 9k from red to green yeah okay this one is not so but it's also 9k so after this red area there will be a green area nothing is like hammered for sure into the charts but this is just how you see history um this is not positive can we turn it around i think when this candle closed in three days and 16 hours like a little bit closer to that midline or maybe above it yes we can turn it around and yes we can turn it green but history shows not positive okay now if you zoom out to the weekly we can see this also uh, back on the weekly chart now because the yellow stepping line was breaking that red line now it's evening again because the week is going to close also in three days and 16 hours so this weekly candle that's a very important candle where is this one going to close is it going to close above the red and the yellow stepping line is it going to close down below it are we going to close much higher and make a green candle all as possible in bitcoin in three days and exactly now we have the miami event which normally pumps the price if there is really cool news so maybe they are like pushing the price down just to make it more special because of the announcement that's going to happen in miami mostly something cool and events maybe it's united kingdom accepting bitcoin as a legal teller because on the weekly we can still see there is a little bullishness in the market okay now that we have set now and let's jump into some more really cool charts um that are these over here yes uh, this is the first one um this is contradicting everything i said at the moment because here we can see that the illiquid supply is increasing tremendously which means bitcoins are moving from the exchange into cold storage so more and more people are taking the bitcoins from the exchange which is exactly the opposite of what i just said because you know the market shows oh we could go down but the people think we still go up so if it happens like this this red area that means that um, the bitcoins go to the exchange and now that means that the people are selling the bitcoins but at the moment not selling buying and huddling really cool and this chart shows even more cool stuff because on this chart you can see that um, at the moment it's not only the big wallets that are accumulating the bitcoins but now also retail starts to accumulate um, we can see this here this red over there the retails hauling 30 day net exchange so this is people like buying bitcoin short term not like the 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 wallets that have uh, huddled bitcoin long term but the short term buyers like they are even peaking which is very unusual because normally they peak only during um, those blow off tops you see that's when the retail gets into the market you know sometimes also uh, they start to accumulate but bam they peak during a blow off top here again they peak during these local blow off tops this is a strange bite i think this is very strange that now retail starts to accumulate but again it could be a sign that we are going to accumulate a little bit more and create that blow off top very strange but also the charts show it now do i have anything else yes i have one more thing bam that is over here this is an excel sheet that i have been creating uh, the last couple of days with the help of a lot of friends in um, our discord server we shared all the data of the bot that we are using the bitcoin family pro bot of the last year from march till march all the trades made on a daily basis in average we reached uh, in that year a profit of 5.4 percent a month the total profit was around 70 percent the average profit per trade is around 0.03 percent be aware in march uh, last year we only calculated five days because we started on the 26 and this one um, is only 25 days so in total that should be uh, the total of march so here you can see how the bot um, performed in the last 12 months now if you want some more information about the bot about the indicators about the bam bam about everything we do as the bitcoin family then go to the bitcoinfamily.com you will find on the website all the information what we do how we do it and where we um, talk to the community about bitcoin blockchain and life because that is a discord server i hope you really enjoyed today's information if you did enjoy the information maybe you didn't like it maybe you sh you're like what is it now diddy is the answer bearish bullish bearish bullish that was the question <laughs> now the answer to the question is um i am still bullish 
I am still in the bullishness because I don't believe we will go below 30k anymore and uh, in this play field between 38k to 50k where we are now I think we will go sideways a little bit more and there will be I think still that 100k level that we could reach in 2022 so for me I will stay bullish I will keep accumulating Bitcoin and I will keep destroying fiat everyone that gives me fiat it's going to be exchanged into Bitcoin and I think that should be your mindset uh, bullish bearish bullish bearish long Long term only bullish short term it could be bearish so yes you could sell some bitcoins you could buy some more bitcoins back but in the long term you should only accumulate bitcoins and you should get rid of the filthy fiat but hope you really enjoyed the information if you did enjoy the information give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to your channel hit the notification bell leave a comment uh, what do you think are we still bullish or are we going to go bearish thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again bam